pre-calculus students and any general seekers of truth out there, let us continue our work with limits of composite functions by evaluating these three limits down here at the bottom um, when we are given uh, these two graphs of f and g. Okay, so this is uh, purely conceptual, testing us to see if we really understand what's going on here. So I I'm actually going to start with the middle option here because I think this might be the simplest and most approachable way for us to, to see this. You can see that this is, just, uh, this is not even a limit of a composite function. This is just a limit of a function. The limit as x approaches z zero of g of x. Now, from what we learned previously, we have to look at the left side or the, the plus side and the minus side limits. As we approach zero from the positive side, you can see that g of x is going to approach one. And as we approach zero from the negative side, you can see that g of x is going to approach negative infinity. So let's write this out. We, when we separate these two, the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side of g of x is going to be equal to one. And the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side of g of x is going to equal negative infinity. And since these two values do not agree, we can say that this limit does not exist. Let me try that again. Because the values are different, we can say that the limit here of g of x as x approaches 0 does not exist. Okay. So that was uh, pretty straightforward. Now let's look at an example that may not be as straightforward. Let's look at um, the first example here. As x approaches 3 from the positive side, and again, we want to look at this as the input to the inside function. So to g of x here. So as we approach 3 from the positive side, you can see that g of x is approaching 2. Okay, so let me write it right out here. As x approaches 3 from the positive side, um, g of x is approaching 2. But remember, as we did before, we need to be very specific about this that g of x not only approaches 2, but it approaches 2 from the negative side. In other words, it's increasing towards, neg towards 2. So as we get closer and closer to 3, g of x gets closer and closer to 2, but from the negative side, increasing towards, towards 2. Now, why is that important? Well, that's important because we need to, to, to change our limit here. In the second step, we know that the result of the inside function is going to be as x approaches 2 from the negative side of f of x. You see? And that's going to affect our, our work here. As we approach 2 from the negative side of f of x, um, f of x is going to approach 6. Okay? Had we approached 2 from the positive side, then the result here would, would be 2. So. Um, I'm going to leave you to try this last one on your own. It's a little bit tricky as you work through this. It, it's not as simple as, as you think it is. What I would do is look back in the notes, look at how we look at the right side and left side limits, or the plus side and the minus side limits, um, to really have a full understanding of what's going on there. As always, continue the good struggle to learn and pursue truth. Ask for help if you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.